uh, I wrote a more hopeful book than I expected to, to write. Um, and uh, in, the, um, you'll, in the acknowledgments at the, uh, at the end of the book, you'll see that I, I thank the first, the, the, the candidates and the, camp and the activists that I worked for in countries around the world. And so uh, when I would work in, you know, in Venezuela, who were, people were out on the street, demonstrations, people were going to jail. Um, we got, you know, uh, we'd come back and we'd meet, <clears throat> and they say, "How's Obama doing? How's Hillary doing?" They, they're, you know, they're, you know, they are rooting for America. They, you know, they think America <clears throat> is dynamic. They, they see all the innovation. It's where they want to be. It's one of the, it's the, only, it's, a, it's the only welcoming country in the world. Um, they may not think that, given Trump and given what's happening in the Republican primary. Um, but my, so in my acknowledgments, I, you know, the. I, that shaped my, the way I wrote about America. The other thing that shaped it was my experience dealing with anti-immigration anti parties, you know, in Europe. So I was hired by the Jewish community in Vienna to run the campaign to try to re reduce the power of Heider's party and the Freedom Party in Austria, in Vienna and Austria. And I later worked for the, uh, the Jewish community in France this year um, on trying to deal with the problem of the Front National. And so you begin to appreciate that there's no other country <laughs> that can deal with diversity, that has any kind of framework for you know, welcoming. There's, you know, there's Brazil, there's Canada, but it's pretty exceptional um, <clears throat> to, have, to have a country that finds new and new ways to welcome diversity and immigration and then that foreign influence. So, I, so part of my optimism you know, comes from that. But the other part comes from just believing that the, I think we've reached the, the point, the gridlock is, I think we'll view two years from now, maybe five years from now, as historical. That it was, it was the worst part of the attempt to stop this new American majority from governing. It, it's over if this, elect, if this majority plays out and this counter-revolution fails. The... I think you will see different forces within the Republican Party. You know, I, and I, that's from my own experience. I, you know, the 80, 1984 for the Democrats, we nominated our core candidate, a pro-union guy, Walter Mondale, <clears throat> was challenged by, you know, Gary Hart. You know, but in the, the next election after that, Gary Hart, you know, w would have been the nominee, but for the sex scandal, he might have been elected president. Bill Clinton was elected in 92. The, so the... It took, a, it took a landslide, 60-40 landslide election for the Democrats to go with the modernizers. And I think the modernizers will be empowered, you know, once this is, you, you have nothing but frustrated Republicans, whether, and whether it's the establishment, you know, or voters who are on the edge, because they're losing their voters, you know. And, but I think the country needs the Republican Party.